begin on a note of remorse. One of the most instructive passages in the Holy Book is the need to guard one's tongue. A popular Catholic priest and founder of Adoration Ministry, Enugu Reverend Father E.J.K. Mbaka, is recanting over his stinginess jibe. As a presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, Father Mbaka has tendered an unreserved apology to Obi for calling him a stingy man and a joker during one of his sermons, which attracted heavy criticisms. In the statements issued by the clergyman, he also wished to be well in his ambition to become Nigeria's president in 2023. Uh, fair enough, isn't it, Bikeo? Well, I, I think um, that was the right thing to do. Absolutely. Adam Baka um, did not behave like a clergyman who deserves respect by launching that needless attack on the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. We are born differently. What he actually calls stinginess, in my view, is not stinginess in the real sense of the word. Most of the politicians spray money like confetti all over the place are using public funds. Mm -hmm. I've related with so many politicians, I can tell you that some of them, when they step out of the vortex of power, the kind of money that they used to spend on their own publicity, you just see that they stop spending. I'm telling you the truth. Mm. As somebody who relates closely with a good number of them. So if someone chooses not to steal public funds, if someone chooses not to buy votes, buy people's conscience, how can that be a sin before God? What, how can that be something bad? So clergymen, just like judges, are seen as the mirror image of God. But where a clergyman begins to encourage vices, political vices that we have come uh, to literally get used to in our country is bad. Mm -hmm. If Obi chooses not to spend money the way other politicians do, it cannot be a crime. So why are you abusing? Why are you saying that I can never be president? Are you God? After all, somebody was brought out of prison in Yola and became president of Nigeria. Mm. He could never, in his wildest dreams, have imagined that he would be president be of president. Nigeria. But he was brought out of prison in Yola and he became president. That's a person, job. So, no one knows what tomorrow holds. No one should play God. You are a pastor, you shouldn't play God. If you get too interested in politics, then drop your cassock. And join drop it. your cola. Or is it cola that you, <laughs> those casters call it? Drop your cola and join jump them. onto the political feed. We'll be happy to, to report <laughs> your activities as a politician. Now, Dari, despite this apology, now, it is actually very sad that some of our highly revered men of God have softly become partisan. And I would like to ask, how did we get to this point? And Especially it, when they talk without caution. How did we get here? Well, we all know how we got here. Uh, Maestro just uh, painted a picture of our, our desire to have people please our egos. You see? Yeah, clergymen are not uh, spirits too. They're humans. So they also have that uh, unbridled desire mm. to have people pander to their interest. And that's flesh on their part is what we are seeing. Uh, I am particularly not a fan of any clergyman in politics, except the one that is contesting and pasting posters. If you are confident enough as a clergyman, be you a pastor out. or an imam or whatever, and you decide that, look, I have things I can do for this country or for this state or for this local government. This is my poster. I want to be so, so, so. I will begin to look at you less of a clergyman, more of an elder statement. But for the likes of uh, Father Mbaka, he has actually played God for too long. He's not alone in that uh, category. There are others who stock in trade uh, is to give political prophecies. And all these are just ways of uh, attracting attention of the people. Why are you always seeing visions of only those who will win and lose Ooh, elections. Bomb attacks are being done on the daily babies. We don't get 
uh, accurate predictions of that. Oh, whoa. Nobody could have thought of that. Those are the kind of prophecies God will reveal through his prophets that are, Go and warn the people, people of a war. Mm. Let them do this so that. But well, we don't yes. get to see these things. You only say, Clarkman will and tell that, you. That could have saved lives. Yeah, that would save lives. But you will tell you, permutations like people are playing pool of those days. Mm. Uh, except uh, so uh, Parisian <laughs> prays. Who will not pray? And when he wins, you say it's because he prayed. When he loses, you say he didn't listen to us. You see, clergymen must know where to draw the line. The line. Otherwise, we will see more. The fact that he apologized has not taken the, the shame, the insult away from him. Yes. Watch out what happens to him and his adoration ministry. Just watch out. We are not God. We won't pass judgments on him. But we are simply saying, when you don't know how to bridle your tongue, what was the motivation for that kind of... Was it a prophecy, a prayer, or uh, a sermon? I would know that you, you are stingy remember, and you will not be God. Remember and you will not that, be president. Remember in 2019, uh, he, he accused him of not supporting the church. Yes. Maybe in spite of that accusation, that Obi are still not bothered to do course, something you know, for you the know church. You know, he had in this current <coughs> one that his ministry always went down because of Obi's stinginess. How does that affect? Is he the only person? <laughs> <laughs> it simply means it simply means that he is one clergy who lives off people. Who no, I, I, you know what I think. Eh? He, he imagines that yeah, everybody is saying Obi is stingy, Obi is stingy, Obi doesn't spend money. He now felt that as a stingy man, Obi should even have exceptions. Not be stingy to God. Obi should have exceptions <laughs> that to men of God he should not be or even he God of spend. men. <laughs> Obi should at least change not extend his, his stinginess to them. So <laughs> since that would not happen, he probably got angry. I mean, but I like the kind of responses he got. Somebody told him what you call stinginess is what we appreciate in him. It means he's frugal. He will manage any economy well. Mm. That is also debatable anyway, but that is the kind of responses uh, he deserves. Yes, yes, yes. You can't be the one to decide who, who, who makes How a man even spends oh. his money. <laughs> You decide who makes You did not work for. You also for. want to decide who will live where. Yeah. You did not work for his money. Eh? So you cannot then decide how he uses it. <laughs> Leave your decision to.